welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Kira. And I am Marilyn. And we are the Sunshine Sisters. In this video, we are going to show you how to do a mountain sunset painting on the wall. And this is my room. What we're going to do on my walls is mountains. The reason why I want mountains and sunset because it's Mother Nature and I like going skiing and, and it's my favorite place. We're going to show you how easy it is to draw my mountains like this. And the colors we decided to go with are these colors. This turquoise blue with this like dark pink with a lighter pink and a dark orange and a lighter orange and this yellow like golden. So let's get started. And we started drawing out these mountains with pencil and it's very easy. And don't forget that uh, if you, you must use a pencil because if you make a mistake then you could always erase it and also don't forget to when you um, look at the mountains you got to step back so it's easier to look at it's okay if you make a mistake there's no right or wrong just have fun you can always erase it with your eraser we finished drawing the mountains, but we made a few mistakes, but good thing we used pencil so we could erase it. And we stepped back to see what we look like, what it looks like, and so we love it. And most importantly, Evelyn loves it because she's going to look at it every day, and we're going to have lots and lots of fun. Wait, what did I say? For the paint chips. For the paint chips, we put them on the wall so that we know which color it's going to be for the mountains. And for the actual paint, we got this from the uh, hardware store. And this is an important tip to buy the samples first so you don't make a mistake and you don't spend a lot of money on the big ones. And these ones are only So we are still on the fifth mountain. And we also, um, this is an important tip in between these things. You gotta make sure that both paints are dry and you should leave a little space and make sure that the both paints are dry. So then you use a small brush, not the big brushes, cause you could make a mistake and go on the other mountain and you don't wanna do that. So you use your small brushes when the paint is dry and then you just just put some more paints and then so it's all nice and nice and neat. 